Welcome back to the grand finals of the MLG Summer Invite Online European Qualifiers. JP here once again with Apollo. Now, Nurcio failed a 10 pull on Antigua in game three. And now we find ourselves on Taldarim for the fourth and potential final game. We do indeed, and Taldum also is actually a very aggressive map, very similar to how PvP plays out here, is that there's no ramp, <laughs> so the, there's no way to really stop Ling's running past at all. So we may actually be in for a very dangerous game here, a very fast one as well. Uh, not as fast as previously, but I think <laughs> Nurture will play like his very normal pool gas, but Solov may actually go gas spawning pool and get a gas speed, potentially bailing attack uh, really lined up here. But, uh, you know, I mean, anything's possible, but that's usually what we see on this map. All right. Well, up here in the top right-hand corner will be the red Zerg, sort of, up 3-1 in this series. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner is going to be Acer's very own Nurcio as the blue Zerg. Now, Apollo, uh, a couple days ago, you actually uh, released some uh, Overlord uh, scouting paths, and by your scouting paths that you released are these players doing it correctly uh yeah man there's only the first and second overlord out so it's not too <laughs> difficult to mess up yet uh, both of them sending it to the right or to the left and looking where their opponent has spawned and look at that we actually have a uh, nurture going extractor first rather than going pool extractor so he's the one playing an aggressive style but likewise Ooh, yeah. is his opponent yeah so uh, both going for that aggressive style like you had mentioned um, there's the pull down. Wow, both these players are going like clockwork at this point in the game. All right, you keep me up to date about the Overlord uh, scouting pass there, <laughs> Apollo. Because I want to no know problem, if JP. these players are messing up, we got to call them out, man. I, I'm not right, Artosis. I'll, I'll I, you know. I will call the players out, okay? I know Artosis okay. is regarded as the guy that, that gently says that they're wrong. Well, I'll just straight up call them out. All right, well, I'll, I'll point you in the right direction, and then I'll let you bring down the hammer. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, not too much really going on uh, in this point in the matchup. Now, with Taldarim Alter, we do have rocks over at the third base. Uh, we mentioned on Daybreak that uh, Zergs are really becoming, uh, or, or excuse me, are starting to take third bases off of the Ling Bailing. Are we going to see the same style of play on this map? Maybe not. Just because of the, you know, how I said there's no ramp here, that we're most likely going to see aggression by brought out by somebody here. Because on every other map, in every tournament map pool, there is a ramp where if, you know, if it hits the fan, you can fall back to the ramp and defend there. But on here, there is nothing. So we're actually seeing both of these guys. While well, Nurture, first of all, has taken out a gas, compared to his opponent who's thrown down a bailing nest. So it's sort of that's going to be like a one base all in. He's not really looking for a hatchery on the natural anytime soon right. because he's saving his money for lings and bailings compared to Nurture, who is fighting without bailings. He will go for a hatchery, but his bailing nest will come down ever so later here. And this is very difficult for Nurture, and he has to control well if he has any hope of winning. Ooh, both players actually controlling very well. Well here, Nurchio is going to fall back and wait for his six lings to join up before pushing this any further, and now he does, but sort of should have his six lings pretty soon, and now he's got eight lings, so here's Nurchio actually falling back right now, kind of mm. a back and forth fight at the moment as both players are reinforcing, but some bane lings are being morphed in one singular bane ling, which might be the perfect bait here for sort of. Yeah, it very well could be, and if that happens, that would be amazing. The problem for Nucho is in cross positions, he doesn't know if his uh -oh. opponent's got an expansion. Uh-oh, that was very, very close, and actually, uh, Speed finishes right at the very last moment. The Bailey cannot collide. Oh, it could have actually done very, very well there if it was actually manually detonated, but it is still up, and now sort of have to, uh, gonna have to be careful. No, he will not, actually, as he gets speed of his own. Uh, you know, Nucho right now is scrambling to get gas of his own, but he's gonna put pressure onto his opponent here. Uh-oh, and he just slips right by that Baneling, checking into the natural, does not see a whole lot, but now he's getting overwhelmed by the sheer amount of lings running into the main. Might be able to get a surround on this queen if uh, sort of does allow him to do so. Very, very... Uh, you mentioned how well Nurcio, or how good Nurcio is at this matchup. It's pretty impressive that he only fights fights you know he can get some advantage in. Absolutely, and he even has a spine crawl at home because he knows how late his bailing nest is going to be because of you know his build here. So he's actually going to pick up the spine crawl, lift it to the natural. He has a second one being built too because he has to fight Zergling alone versus Ling bailing, and anybody knows that is a gun and a knife fight here, and it's a very oh, dangerous man. one too. 
So many bandings being morphed in here for Sorta. Putting up to a total of uh, 12, but here comes Nurtio actually coming in and trying to deny. Gets a total of three denies. The Ling's coming in, and Nurtio's gonna have to fall back. Oh, two bandings actually almost being wasted there by Sorta, only getting one or two of those Ling's of Nurtio's. Look at Nurtio saving up money with the uh, saving up energy. Sorry, with the queens here, actually has two transfuses if need be. He doesn't need lava, so he's actually going to use that on the spine crawler if an attack comes in. So that's very smart for him actually. And let's see if he can defend this. Here come the lings. The spine crawler just finishes as sort of approaches on the creep. The two banelings of Nurtios are going to be sit out to the front, but so many more banelings here for sort of as I believe he's going to be waiting for lings to come over across the map before really engaging into this. Yeah, he's actually taking the expansion behind it because he knows that it's very difficult to break this, but he definitely still wants to do damage here. I don't think it's possible with two spines, a lot of transfuge energy. And some banlings are trying to slip by. Two of them, three of them, four of them get wasted there. And right now, sort of, I, I feel like that attack... Um, that attack was sort of not good. Uh, he wasted a lot of things there. Didn't really kill that many drones. In the, uh, in the main, what was his main goal with trying to slip by there? Avoid the spine crawlers, but it didn't work. The queen block was pretty nice from Nurcho to prevent some guys slipping past him. Nurcho is droning with a grin on his face and is smiling down on a victory at the moment simply because his opponent does not have a hatchery completed. He has no units to defend right now, has to morph new banelings. And um, behind this, Nurcho is droning so freely. Oh no, the banelings actually will not save one of those queens as the, they finish right as the queen goes down and Nurtio is in such a good position we actually see him being the aggressive one here morphing in Bailings right outside the natural yeah he's just gonna go and try and break this down if he can bust down or, or even walk through everything and hit the drone line two Bailings well, that was walk awkward. past everything <laughs> here he's looking for drones but they are not to be found at the moment and sort of is sending four Bailings across the map yeah he's also attacking his own creep over here as Nurtio is going into the main oh no the Bailings are gonna try and collide with the drones here, will they be split in time to go down? Three more are very close to falling. The Bailing cannot connect just yet, and he does do so. Meanwhile, one of the queens falls, and I'm sort of falling apart at this point, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, look at the unit tab or the income tab, either one, the drone count together yeah, yeah. is insane. And with these four bailings, I have no idea what they're trying to do. These spine crawls will, and with a queen will easily stop every single one of them. And look at that, that's very easy. And oh, actually, you know, one gets in, damages a few drones, but Nurcio in complete control right now, has four gases, is going straight to Leia now, will want to go for a Spire most likely, just to seal the deal and end the game, and sort of is in a position where he actually has to go all in, because there's, there's no way he can just drone behind this, so yeah. he's actually making a bunch of links and will try one desperate attack, hoping his opponent over -drone, hoping his opponent doesn't have any units left, but to be honest, Right now, 47 drones, Nurture can build an army, and it doesn't matter. And he, you know, he's in a perfect drone situation. Absolutely. Remember, this is 3-1 in favor of Sword of. So game point here in the final, the grand final, uh, best of seven extended series. Here comes Sword of going across the map with his lings. A couple of banelings being morphed in here for Nurture and added spine crawler because he knows if he holds this, he will surely win uh, with this lair very close to being finished. He knows his opponent cannot afford that much tech but it's going to be a very, very uh, hard attack to hold as there are a huge amount of banelings and lings right outside his front door. And Nurcio, you know, equals the baneling counter with his own resources now. Two banelings just for a great little start for Nurcio. And now it comes in. Nurcio has so many banelings about to arrive for the fight. And he's already got a great lead. And, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that just happened. Even some transfusions <laughs> coming down for Nurcio uh, to make sure his queens don't die. Uh, I think the only thing Nurcio lost there was Banelings. Uh, and, of course, it was just because they were exploding on their own. But Sort of is not done yet. He's going to try once more here as more and more Lings rally. But Nurcio's got his... Uh, where is his... Oh, okay. And the natural. Yeah, it's over here. At the, I thought he was putting up where that spine crawler was. I was like, well, he's pretty ballsy. But no, but it's behind the, uh, the natural as more spine crawlers are actually going down. He's just holding on because he knows once that's out, he wins. And here comes another attack, which of course won't work here. And Nurcio 
absolutely fine in the pain. He may lose a few drones, but even if he does lose a few drones, they're easily replenishable, especially right. because he can just make more drones like he's doing now. And, and now sort of has to wait another minute before he can attack again to morph more banelings. And every time an attack fails, the closer the spire is to completion. And as soon as that happens, there's 700 gas in the bank. He's got a thousand minerals in the bank. It's going to be a very easy 10 meters. Go kill all the queens. Go kill everything. And Nurcho, if he keeps on holding like that, of course, it, of course, it's going to be an easy win. Yeah, we can even see sort of falling back right now. Uh, in terms of his vision, he saw the spire building. I'm not sure if he clicked on it though. Looks like he's going to try and take down these destructible rocks at his third. The spire is finished, and so are eight mutas soon to be, as they are coming out on the map here in just a matter of seconds. Yeah, and, and unfortunately for Sword of, even with even if he had five queens, it, it won't be enough. They don't have energy to transfuse. He only has two out anyway. Uh, and so as soon as the mules go across, they, they actually will probably skip every single overlord. Despite the usual, let's kill the overlords, let's try to bring him down. I would not be surprised if Nocho just jumped across the map and put, took down the queen straight and then just went straight for the drones because he knows his opponent can't have anything here. Yeah, someone queue flight of the Valel. He's slowly taking him out. I thought we were going to Q fly to the Valkyries and just ride this uh, victory with Nurchi all the way over to uh, sort of base, but no. He is taking out the Overlord. This is going to supply cap uh, the red Zerg, sort of. He's taking a couple shots. Uh, Banelin's coming over. He's going to make sure to take those out, of course, but now no more units can be uh, produced here for sort of. He's just going to say good game, and that does it. Nurchi going up 2-1, or excuse me, 2-3 right now is sort of still in the lead. Your quick thoughts on that match. Uh, I think that Nurcio had a very good defense there. It was a very smart play from him to get additional spines to uh, bring to the natural. But more importantly was his decision to say, I can't hold this early on, so I'm going to put the pressure on him to buy myself time to get those spines, to get those additional queens up and save the energy. And from there on out, it made the defense really easy for him, and then he sailed the rest of the way. All right, guys, we are going on to game six. I hope you join us. Make sure to check out the next game in this series right here at MLG.TV.